pork ribs or beef ribs? Couldn't tell you. I've got these odd sized potatoes. Now this is something I'm just making up in my head. Let's just do this. Just rub it in. I don't know what's gonna come out of this bag. Cooking is it's easy. It's as easy as you want it to be. Hi everybody, welcome back. We're cooking again. We are cooking again. Today we are making ribs. They're drippy, they're in a bag. These, I, I put these in my refrigerator two days ago. They were in the freezer and I opened my freezer, my refrigerator, yeah, my refrigerator and I'm thinking, oh, them dang on ribs. I need to cook these. I already have soup going over there because today I'm going to the dentist and getting some teeth pulled. So I made me soup, but I'm making these ribs too. I'm gonna do that. So yeah, I'm cooking two meals in one day. Oh, that never happens. We're lucky to get one meal out of me a day. I've got my Pampered Chef Stone here. It's Pampered Chef Stone. Supposed to look dirty, just in case you wondered. They're clean, but they, they look dirty. And I'm just gonna dump, well, I'm not gonna dump, because I don't know what's gonna come out of this bag, but I've got two ribs in here. Two, yeah. These are pretty big, and I don't remember if they're pork ribs or beef ribs couldn't tell you. Don't remember that at all. But I know I got a lot of ribs. They were on sale and I got a lot of them. I've got this mixture that I made up. It's, it is garlic and onion powder. I made this. I dehydrated it and I thought, well, we're just going to use this. Now this is something I'm just making up in my head. Okay. So follow along. I'm going to put some of this in my hand. Okay. And maybe sprinkle but kind of rub it in. Let's just do this. Just rub it in. And we'll get the, the heavenly goodness all over this thing. Yay. That's entertaining, isn't it? All right, I'm going to get some more. And we're going to pick it up and do the same thing. Just rub it all over there. We might need some more. Oh, I got a lot. Just coat these things. I was going to put barbecue sauce on them, but I don't have barbecue sauce, so we're doing we're doing it this way, and it's going to be good, all right? I promise. It's going to be good. So we've got the ribs there. Where did I put Let me go get my, let me go wash my hands first, and then I need my salt. Found, I found my salt. We're just going to salt these a little bit, just because. It just seems like the right thing to do. And then I've got musket powder. Link in my description. I promise this is good. You'll love it. We're going to do a lot of musket powder in this one. So I'll put some musket powder on that one and just kind of flip it over. And then that one. And then just flip her over. There we go. It does smell good. This is like black pepper and decaffeinated car... Black pepper decaffeinated coffee and garlic. It's a good mixture. It works. It really works. It's good. All right. To this, I've got these odd sized potatoes. I don't know. I think we're just going to cut them up in hunks. I washed them first and I thought, well, we're going to add potatoes to this again, just because I washed them. And you can leave the skins on your potatoes. And I wanted to show you, look at this odd sized potato. You see that? Oh, it's getting cut. I know, Michelle, be careful you don't cut yourself. Oh, we'll just let that go through. That might be enough. Yeah. Probably only Rob is going to eat this. Probably. That's just a guess. And then I got a tiny one. I mean, tiny and big. I got both. So this is what we have so far. We've got the ribs over here and the potatoes here. Now, sometimes when I cook beef, I add water to this. But I'm going to add this beef broth. I have beef broth. We're going to put some of that in here. Oh, let me show you. I have canned potatoes too. I thought about putting these in here, but I didn't. I don't want to open. I just don't want to open that can. And I have green beans here too. And I might put the, yeah, let's put the green beans in there. Yeah, we're going to do that because it's going to be a one-pot meal. How old do you think that is? That's a pretty old one, isn't it? But we're going to gently open this. Hear it? Let's see. I don't want to ruin the lid. Oh, this is sealed. Oh, there we go. I wash these lids and save them only to use with, like, my dehydrated things. 
we're going to pour these green beans in there green bean juice and all all over these potatoes yeah we are i like one pot meals i do so then we're going to give it a little bit of salt i probably should have salted the potatoes before i put the green beans in there so just that much okay now the beef broth okay the beef broth we're going to just add, I'm going to add enough and I'm going to add it at this end because I salted the other end. Wasn't thinking on that part. I'm just going to add enough to cover the bottom of this pan. So it will, it'll kind of steam in there. That's what I'm doing. And then on top of all this, I'm going to add some more musket powder. Cooking is, is easy. It's as easy as you want it to be. I mean, I mean, look at look what I just did. I just got things out of my refrigerator and pantry and stuff, and it's like, well, we'll just throw it all in the pan because I'm sure it's going to be good. You add seasoning, and, and anything is good. I'm going to put this in the oven. It's going to bake at 375, probably for about an hour. Let me show you the lid for this pan. This Pampered Chef lid, it just sits right down on there like that. And you can cook in either side of this. And it, again, it's supposed to look like this because it's it's seasoned. But I can I can cook anything big I want. You know, you could cook on either side. I do like this. Not sponsored, but I, I like Pampered Chef. 375 for an hour. Rob will enjoy it. We've got soup over there going, and now we have these ribs, which I don't know if they're pork or beef. I don't know. But anyway, I promise you this is going to be good. I can't film the ending of this because I'm going to the dentist and having teeth pulled, so I'll probably be in bed. But I promise you, this is really going to be good. Oh, it's going to dump out, too. So use your imagination. Cook up something in your kitchen. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.